A few years ago, an engineer friend who was in his 70s was looking for a, a new project and he happened across a copy of this book, German Half-Track Vehicles of World War Two, a 1970s publication now out of print. And he thought, I'll have a go at making a half-track, German half-track. So what he did, he photocopied those plans and he scaled them, he scaled them up. He scaled them up and what he made was a German SD KFZ7 half-track. Um, this was even before Armatech made their model. Um, how he determined the size was by what size the front tyres were at the time. Now at the time, I don't know wherever you're at in the world if you had the same thing. At the time, <clears throat> English garages and tyre manufacturers had a habit of making replica small tyres out of rubber and in the centre of the tyre they'd put a glass ashtray so you could quite easily find these glass ashtrays around the uh, we call them car boot sales you call them um, garage sales and so he was supplied with two rubber tyres he took the glass inserts out of them so these are the garage company's rubber tyres with his own inserts and he took the glass inserts out scrapped them and what he made using that tyre as, as a scale what he turned out was this it's completely handmade from metal and wood um, SDKFZ7 German half track um, I was privileged to be in his garage one day when that radiator block there the radiator grill it's one solid lump of aluminium alloy and I actually watched him and he hand carved that it took him ages so he hand carved that radiator out of one that's one solid block of aluminium alloy and you've got wood with metal details and the the fenders if you look the slight imperfections in the fenders that's because it's been hand beaten from a, a flat piece of metal on both sides um, <clears throat> the wheels not 100% accurate because they're just commercial conveyor belt wheels which were adapted the tracks are again they're not 100% accurate but they're just uh, been cut from a commercial conveyor belt and all in all it's quite a nice model and um, it's all all wood all metal construction and um, basically it's not radio control and basically what you do is in the back sits a, a motorcycle battery you hook it up to the motorcycle battery the motorcycle battery drives the front sprocket that drives the vehicle along and um, basically all you do is you as soon as you hook it up to the motorcycle battery it's on so you have to point it in the right direction and hope you catch it before it crashes it's got tow bar in the back it's just got your, your basic detail that's that's all metal um, it, it needs some detail added it's got very sparse detail in the front handmade if I take the driver out it's got a handmade steering wheel which does activate the steering <coughs> um, it's about it's about a three feet long and a one and a bit foot wide and it, it's quite heavy it takes two people to actually lift it because it is quite a substantial model um, it's got a folding windscreen again it's all it's all been completely handmade there's no kit parts in it at all it's been made from scratch by a guy drawing pictures on a piece of paper hugely talented guy now in his 70th year he might, he might be even slightly older. Um, his joy is in researching the item and building the item. Once he builds it, he moves on to the next project. As I said, it's all been completely hand-built. 
this is it in, in the basic primer before I paint and detail it. Um, but as you can see, it accurately replicates the leaf springs. If I, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it over so you see the back, the underside of it. Yeah, get over there. Now, if you look under there, you see that it's got it. It's got a good representation, handmade leaf springs on the front suspension. That's there's the drive. What we have here, the battery inside the back comes down to a. I think that's that's a wheelchair motor. Wheelchair motor attaches to this substantial brass sprocket that drives the front the front wheels. And down here we have. That's 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 the steering column that, that comes off the steering column. All metal wood construction. Uh, the tires on the front. That reads Watts Industrial Tires, Lydney, England. So that, that's been an advertising ashtray. As I said, the glass insert's been taken out and thrown away. He's used whatever he could find in the construction. The belts are rubber from a conveyor belt, that's why they're not 100% accurate. These belts are, the, the wheels, are industrial wheels off something, they're all metal. Again, not 100% accurate, but they do the job. So all in all, quite a nice and heavy model. And it's got the adjustable back so you can take the tracks off, take the tracks apart. Handmade metal toe bracket, again it's been hand carved. So it's ripe for a repaint in a, in a detail. Put back down again. That's it. It's very, very heavy inside. Again, it's all wood. You see the screws. Very spartan interior. And all this. It's all wood. Quite, quite a nice model. And as you see. That's the hand carved radiator with some the down the down sections in the middle there. The springs that have been welded in. Um, headlights are, are all hand carved uh, wood. Tiny tow bracket on the front. Again, it's all have been handmade. Metal metal fenders which which have all been hand beaten as I said. Um, the steering does turn, so it, it, it could be made radio control, but it is quite a weighty thing. As I say, it's about from there right the way back. It's three feet long, one and a bit foot wide, and currently it's powered by a um, 12 volt motorcycle battery, which just sits in the back. As I say, you just hook it up, and away it goes, and you hope for the best. Um, so yeah, it looks quite in scale when it's hooked up to a, I do have a Dragon 1.6 scale pack 40 anti-tank gun and it is quite an impressive thing, but it needs a repaint because as, as I say, it's in, uh, it's in car primer at present, so that, that's how I got it a couple of years ago. Um, the guy has also made a huge Scammel 6x6. Explorer recovery vehicle, which is very impressive and I believe he's also made but I've not seen it yet a very impressive 1914 Rolls-Royce armored car again in one six scale So his, his pleasure is researching Getting the bits together building the item um, If only he'd build a one six scale 88 millimeter gun But as I say this 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 was made before the Armatech model came onto the market. So this is one guy who is in his 70s, his ingenuity, in basically scaling up a drawing out of a book, putting pencil to paper, and hand building it completely from scratch, using commercial, what were ashtrays, 